Floriana Boardman was at Bond Court for Manigo and spoke with family members about the tragedy. Floriana. That's right, Katie, and today a judge denied 33-year-old Ryan Manigo's bond. He's charged with killing his sister-in-law and daughter in one count of attempted murder. Now, Monago came to court today with his right hand bandaged and his face scratched. You can see what looks like a dried blood on his face. Dozens of family members of the victims came to court today. They were calm but angry, and they say he needs to answer what happened. This morning, I spoke with family members, and they told me much of the same. They're heartbroken over their loss. It's like we're, we're all... No, it's like we're all walking around in this nightmare and we cannot wake up from it. Now, this all comes after the Colleton County Sheriff's Office found six people dead in one in critical condition after a house fire yesterday. Family tells me the 13 year old girl who escaped is still in critical condition, but she is stable. They say she's telling police what happened. Now, coming up tonight at six, we'll hear just how well the family knew the suspect and what they knew of what they thought of him before yesterday's incident. But you'll remember Manigo is only trying charged with two counts of murder. Now there were six people found dead and that's where I want to bring in our Katie Salt. Katie, there are more charges coming. And that's right, Floriana. So we do want to look back a little bit as to who those people are that were identified. The first is Michelle Wright. The 